Hello everyone, I'm Andre, a solution engineer at PDFtron. In this video, we're going to embed PDFtron's web viewer to enable PDF viewing and editing inside of a view 3 app. Okay, let's get started. To do that, let's go ahead and open Visual Studio Code, uh, do a new window, and we're just going to open our desktop. Okay, so inside of here, uh, we're going to go ahead and run, open up our terminal. And inside of the terminal, let's type in the command um, npx at view CLI create my project. Okay, perfect. So the command ran, and now we're going to go ahead and pick a preset. Uh, let's actually use the latest uh, view 3 preview. Okay, and we'll create a new project uh, using the latest version of view. And now that the command has ran, uh, let's go ahead and change it to cd my project. And let's go ahead and run it and see what comes by default. Okay, so it starts the Dalton server. Sweet, and it's running at localhost 8080. So we can just grab that URL, open up our browser. Uh, let's just drag it over from the screen and paste it in. Okay, great. So this is what comes by default with view app. Uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna strip all the kind of all the stuff that comes here by default and we're gonna put it inside uh, PDFtron's web viewer. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, so I'm actually gonna stop this and let's go ahead what's under my view. Okay, great, so we have our node modules, we have our public folder and we have our SRC. And we're just gonna go ahead and add the component uh, here um, and we're gonna mount it inside of our app. Okay. So to do that, let's go ahead and first and install the web viewer. So we'll just go npm i add uh, pdftron web viewer. Awesome. Uh, so the command has ran and now it placed uh, pdftron web viewer under the node modules here. Uh, what we're we actually going to do, we're going to pick up this public folder and we're going to select um, just core and UI since those are the two we're going to be using. And we're just going to uh, copy them over uh, to our uh, public folder here. And let's create a new folder and we'll just call it uh, web viewer and place the web viewer's um, dependencies inside of it. Okay, great. So it copied over under public uh, web viewer core and UI. Right? So under components, uh, let's go ahead and create a new component. Uh, we're going to call it web viewer view. Okay, and each uh, view component requires kind of three things. So it requires a template. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. And inside of it here, we're just gonna place a div and we need to give it an ID uh, just so we can style it later on. So we'll just call it web viewer and we'll give it a reference uh, and we'll just say viewer. And now uh, let's add the style tag and uh, we're gonna get it by the ID. So we're gonna say web viewer and we'll give it a height of you know, 800 pixels. Okay, and here comes the most important part. Uh, this is where we're gonna be mounting a uh, web viewer component um, and placing it inside of it. So let's go ahead and declare a script tag. So inside of the script tag, um, we'll just go ahead and import some of the things we're gonna be using. So we're gonna use ref uh, to kind of get this uh, div element from our DOM. And let's actually use some ESX uh, syntax for destructuring. So we'll grab ref and we'll grab a life cycle hook uh, called unmounted. And those are all coming from view library. Okay, and let's go ahead and import uh, web viewer as well uh, from at PDF from web viewer. Okay, great. Uh, so inside of it, we actually want to uh, export a component out. Uh, the component is gonna be called web viewer, so we can reference easier. And we're actually gonna give it some props. It's gonna receive a URL. Uh, so we'll just call it initial doc. Um, 
And the type of it is just going to be sync with string. Okay. And then after that, we want to go ahead and set up our project. And inside of it, we actually receive a props object that's going to be passed down to us. Uh, so first things first, let's actually go ahead and create uh, the reference uh, to the viewer above. So it's right here, great. And then inside of it, uh, we're gonna do, we're gonna use the life cycle hook on mounted. And we, uh, inside of it, uh, it just, uh, we pass in a function to it. Let's first declare path. Um, to the resources we copied over right here. Uh, so the path is going to be, uh, let's again use ES6 uh, templating, and let's declare a variable. So it's going to be process.env space URL uh, just to get access uh, to this public folder and access the web URL location. And it already comes in with a slash, so we're just going to go ahead and declare it as web URL since this is where we put it. And then let's call web, web viewer. Um, and inside of it, the first element that it takes is an options object. And inside of the options object, we're gonna go ahead and give it the path. And then we're gonna give it the initial dot URL, which coming from our props object, um, an initial dot right here. And then the second parameter it takes, it's the actual HTML DOM element uh, that we created the reference to and to access it we're just going to say viewer that value we actually have to go ahead and return uh, the viewer right here uh, so it's accessible so let's go ahead and put it inside of the app and let's actually take out the the hello world component and take out the import and instead let's import web viewer uh, from the components web viewer we're just going to replace this with web viewer. Okay, great. I believe this is it. So let's go ahead and run the app. Okay, let's see if we got any compilation errors. No, oh, okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, web viewer component has been registered but not used. Um, oh, yeah, correct. So we need to go ahead and add it here. And remember, we're expecting an initial doc property. So for the initial doc property, uh, what we can do, we can just grab any URL. Okay, so I found the URL, uh, we're just gonna paste it in here. Okay, great. Uh, so we're passing an initial doc prop uh, with the URL for the PDF. Okay, let's go ahead and see uh, what the app is running on localhost uh, 8080. and we see the view logo and web viewer. Perfect. And now here we can go ahead and view PDF documents, office documents, uh, and the images. We can annotate um, as well as perform uh, so much other functionality. To check out more, go ahead to pdfcon.com and check out the documentation and how to get started with our SDK. Thanks for watching.